Hi, it's Nick Shell, the internet receding hairline guy. Here's today's topic. Men's hair loss is proof that God wants us to wear cool hats. I think that's a very uh, valid theory. Uh, because as a man, which you are, that's why you're watching this video, and with as a man who's got a receding hairline or starting to notice hair loss, which is you, that's why you're watching this video, you know how it is. You know that very few men are going to live most of their lives with a full head of hair. That's very uncommon. Even if they're, they're the guys that show up most on TV and the movies and stuff, uh, having a full head of hair at age 40, uh, that's not that typical. I mean, I'm 35 and I've got this much hair. I'm happy to have what I have. But ultimately, in all of my dozens of videos I've done on, on uh, receding hairlines, ultimately, you know what I know. That it ultimately doesn't matter in the end any women. It, it, it doesn't matter anyway, because ultimately, men aren't judged on their hairlines. They're judged on lots of other things, uh, much more intensely. But as far as hair loss, we're our greatest critics when it comes to how much we hair, hair we do or do not have. Uh, that's something we place on ourselves. I don't even know that society places that on us, on, on us. I think it's more that we don't want to be the bald guy uh, if, if we can't help it. Now, with that being said, the convenient thing we've got going on for ourselves, and maybe we can thank Vin, Vin Diesel along the way, but it's now officially cool to have a shaved head. And that's kind of the paradox that I end up in. If you've been watching my videos, you know that, what, six months ago, I had a shaved head. I had a number one guard, and the past six months I've been growing it out, basically for the uh, experiment of figuring out, okay, at age 35, with the hair that I have, what's the best that I can make it look? And ultimately, is it even worth it? Well, I've already answered that question because I've done other videos showing me if with a buzz cut, with shorter hair, with this hair. And ultimately, half the people said I look good uh, with the shaved head. I, that actually look better with the shaved head. So well, imagine that. What point is there really even in having a hair? What's, why don't I just shave it off all the time if half the people like it better that way anyway? Because ultimately, if, if I'm having hair for my appearance to look good, better as a human being or something is, is it really even worth it to have hair if only half the people think I look good with hair so I think that, that that leads me to this paradox I get in this loop where I shave my head once or twice a year because ultimately what's the point anyway but then I'm like well I still have hair so I guess I could grow it out and have hair for the 50% of the people who think I look better with hair but ultimately, I know that it's a losing game anyway, because each year of my life, I've got more hair to deal with. It's not just about a, a, a receding hairline. Now granted, a receding hairline makes things more difficult because it's not symmetrical anymore, and it, you get into this uh, situation where you feel like you're almost in denial at some point, that you've got some kind of comb over going on. It's not necessarily that, it's just that you've got this row of hair coming down. Of course, for me, it's thinner right here, and it's thinner in the back, so then it looks flat in the back, and then I'm thinking, well, the longer it is, the more obvious my hair, hairline and hair loss becomes. So why not just shave it off? Well, I say all that to uh, prove my point, the name of this video. Men's hair loss is proof that God wants us to wear cool hats. So often on the weekend, I'm wearing a hat anyway. Uh, I don't wear one to work, but I own fedoras. I own a cowboy hat. I own baseball caps, Captain America, Superman. I've got quite the uh, uh, selection of hats. And uh, it's funny because uh, my wife, for example, she likes it when I wear a hat anyway. She actually likes it when I have a shaved head anyway. So it's funny because if, if, if I was trying to please any one person with my hair, I guess it'd be her. But I think it's m more for myself that I want the option of having hair as long as I still have that option. <laughs> but ultimately, that's just kind of the conclusion I've come to that apparently... Why do such cool hats exist? Why can you go to Target and get such a selection of cabbie hats or pork pies or fedoras, not to mention baseball caps? Why? Because we're going to lose our hair. I mean, what, how can you really win at this game anyway? All right? So what about me? Okay? I mean, I'm five years away from turning 40. Let's say I lose just a little bit more hair than I've got now. I've still got the thinning going on. It's still an inevitable situation in which I will ultimately be bald at some point in my life. At some point, whether it's 50, 55, 60, I won't have hair on top. 
And then obviously I'll clearly have no choice but to just shave it off anyway. It's, it's a losing game. So as a man, the quicker you realize that you can't win and the quicker you realize it's a matter of accepting the fact that eventually you're going to be shaving your head anyway, that's the only way to win at the game because then you get the confidence uh, that I have now because I, have, I do shave my head throughout the year so that whether with hair or without hair, I'm the same happy guy, the same confident guy either way. And I think it takes a couple years for a lot of guys to get to that point. But I'm, I'm embracing it now, early, even though I don't have to. And I don't know my future. I don't know if I'm going to shave my head in a couple of months or if I'll keep doing this. Ultimately, it doesn't matter. People will treat me no different whether I have hair or whether I don't. And it's not like my approval rating goes up because I have hair or don't. It doesn't. It makes no difference. My life is not affected by that. So what's the answer? I guess take a cue from God that he uh, allowed people to have uh, cool designing skills and make cool masculine hats for us to wear. Uh, I, I think it's that natural. I think that's what it's really all about. Men's hair loss is proof that God wants us to wear cool hats.